Cosmic Mermaid Tarot. Uh, I have like, I don't know, tarot advice, I guess, but at the same time, intuitive messages. It's, it's just, I can't even stop thinking about it, so I have no choice but to like hit the record button at this point. So, hi guys. Happy almost Friday. Um, but the messages I'm getting are two messages that the one is that I don't know some of us Capricorns are going to get a lot of new friends or new relationships new soulmates but I don't want anyone to have their mind like tricked or played with into thinking that it could like okay yes it could be the love of your life but yes it could be a best friend it could be male or female um, soulmates are people that you feel, and I felt this energy so strong, and I kept feeling it, and kept feeling it, and just, it was so comforting to feel this, like, to know that there's people out there that are gonna, like, truly love us. One, one, one. One, one, one. There's my intuition. See, I knew. I felt it. I told you. I felt it. And see, this shit's no lie. You don't have to believe if you don't want to believe. It's totally fine. But I'm not going to fucking not believe. I'm speaking it into existence. And we have a lot of people that are going to finally come in and be there for us. Because we've been there for so many. If this is your story or this is what you've been going through in your life for a while and it resonates, then I hope you actually take it. I can't even tell you how often I've seen the, the Three of Cups in the past couple of days. It's like a repetitive message that does not stop happening. And, and that's like, not just like the two of cups, that's the three of cups. It's, it's really, truly either the most loyal, love, compassionate, empathetic, fulfilling friendships that you've ever had or partnerships like with people. And it's going to be like physical, not just like, it's going to be everything fulfilling. Like, okay, whether that be physical, whether that be emotional, um, but it's more on the other side of these people that are coming in are going to be so understanding. It's full of acceptance. It's full of high vibrational energy. It's not one that will mess with yours and make you actually have anxiety or feel scared. It's, it's literally the arms of people that you can lay on and have their arms wrap around you and know that when you are one even if that's just your best friend that you hug and you know that hug is like your soul sister or your soul brother but at the same time okay if you're getting like true love just remember how safe it can be in someone's arms and how good that feeling really can be especially if you have mental health and trauma if you can find someone after trauma after abuse after mental health that can make you feel loved again fights for you I mean fights for you like chases you like people that have trauma you they kind of have to be chased because they need a lot of reassurance they're a lot of work three 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 so unless someone truly does love them and sees the love that and like the real beautiful human being that they truly are the real human like the not the human being the soul the soul that lives within the heart that lives within if those people that are your soulmates on that three of cups come in and they see how amazing you truly fucking are they're gonna make you finally see how amazing and worthy you truly freaking are there's such positive energy coming in and now it started to pour outside okay pouring down rain like not like bad just you know, enough, like, and then I have birds in this tree, and it's just, you know, okay, look, you get highly intuitive messages when you're an empath, or a tarot reader, or a psyche, um, or just anything, light worker, message, like, I don't know how to say it, um, anything, you know what I mean, gypsy, hippie, soul, okay, <laughs> like, um, just, and then beautiful souls recognize other beautiful souls, which is absolutely every freaking one of us. So I don't want anyone. 444, we're divinely protected. Holy crap, synchronicities. Holy crap, how could I have looked up every time at the clock and have seen those numbers every time? Capricorns, this is your year to be loved, to receive 
I'm here to deliver you this beautiful message intuitively. I carried my crystal out with me as well because this is one of the crystals they're suggesting to hold. So like Amazonite, um, Aquamarine, and and a few other ones for retrograde. So I carried this out, out to the car with me. And it's one of my palm stones. And it looks like an Easter egg. <laughs> but this is absolutely nuts. Now, I do want to, like, have a word of caution, though, that retrograde is right now, and it's it's for, like, a month or something. It's not actually, like, a super long retrograde, which is good. But just remember, be careful what you sign. Read over things two times during retrograde. Don't just sign things. Also, remember that past feelings of trauma or love or lost love can come back. So I want you to be careful. Um, I don't want you to think that, you know, if you closed a door to abuse, do not... This is the time where people will try to trauma bond, okay? And, I, and I'm not saying that it would ever even be your fault if you did it. Because sometimes the safest arms have literally scared us the worst. And I will add that to the people who have survived abuse and narcissism, okay? 616. Um, 616 is a positive energy, meaning that means there is an energy that's like coming in, okay? If you want to Google it, it means that you are not supposed to give up on your progress yet and that you are supposed to go after your dreams and your goals and, and that the universe is saying that you're not using all your possibilities to your highest extent. And there's a few other things. So if you need to go Google that one, go for it. But I said what I said. So we are definitely all worthy. And I believe that if this is your story and this resonates with you, you have mad love coming in and it's going to be hard. I feel us being stubborn, Capricorns being stubborn at letting this in, letting people in, letting the wall down, trusting. We're a stubborn, serious person, but I believe the energy that is going to be water energy, loving energy, soulmate energy, soul brother energy, or literally twin flame soulmate, okay? True love. It's all possibly all coming in at once. People that you can actually trust to never break your heart, to trust that would never cheat on you. And I know that is one heck of a fucking line to say. I do believe me. That is like, you know, crazy to say because I, I haven't met a faithful one fucking yet. I swear. I'm sorry. I'm a mess. It's, it's fine. Um, I'm just hanging out in my car and I'm like, I can't believe the intuitive messages. Like I did a reading for a friend earlier. I did a Pisces reading and, and it was, it was amazing, but they got the three of cups at the end of their freaking reading too, dude. And, and then they got Capricorn and their dice. And do you want to know what it says? Okay. It says the same thing that, that, that my friend says, they say that, that we're going to weather the storm together, no matter fucking what, no matter how much they get, that they get pushed away. And then on the, on the dice, for the astrology dice, for Capricorn, I want you to, to seriously, if you can read it, read it. If you want to go buy the dice, they're from five below. Um, it says weathering the storm on the Capricorn. Is that like on the part where you're supposed to read for Capricorn on the dice? I was just blown away, blown away at the synchronicities and, and, and the way that, that, whether this person in my life is like, you know, non-platonic or someone I should keep or let go. As much as I push away and close the door, it flies back open. It gets pushed back open. And this person can just laugh right through my shit and make me laugh and blush. And literally I can feel the energetic connection love, but I'm trying to separate where my trauma makes me wonder, is it another fucking karmic? Because karmic soulmates are real soulmates and they're one of our strongest connections that we can ever have, but they're the most dangerous. They will make you like they can mirror your dreams, your fantasies, your everything. And at the same time, you have to worry about that. You have to worry like, okay, is my trauma making me think they're a bad person? Or are they really the trickster, the daydreamer, the bullshitter, the, the I'm going to feed you everything, but then not really be the nice guy or girl. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Um, but either way, Okay, look, I don't want you to even, like, don't you dare judge right now because I did not just judge you wait till I add it. From now on out, no one should be judging anyone. 
for toxic patterns, for mental health, for cycles that people are trying to fix for the way that they vibrate their energy, 1010. There's no reason for anyone to judge anyone else for how good or how bad they're doing with their life. It's their trauma, their mental health, their progress, their growth, their life. If they're not growing fast enough for you, you shouldn't be in their life because you should never rush them. You should be patient, loving, and understanding. And if you are none of those things, you are not their soulmates. You are not a part of their soul sister, soul brother, soul family tribe. You're someone who would not support them at their worst and not be there for them emotionally. People with trauma need reassurance. People with mental health need reassurance. We need to hear a thousand times a day you're not leaving us if we have abandonment issues. We need to hear a thousand times a day if we have childhood damage from watching bad marriages that you love us truly. It's real that we so we can start to believe that we're lovable. Like this person in my life that I've met, I know their soul. I recognize their soul. It's a beautiful thing. It's a soul I have either met in another lifetime or their soul is literally a part of mine. And that I have seen in so many good people already. So many good people. And you'll know right away because it feels like someone you've met or you've known your whole life and it is someone that you can feel safe like, like all I can keep hearing all day are safe arms, safe arms, safe arms. That's what I have to title this safe arms, safe rest, like safe arms, safe rest. Oh, as your reader, I am genuinely sorry for breaking on camera. I believe, though, that we deserve loving and beautiful, safe arms, not abusive ones, not trauma-bonding ones, guys. Know your worth. We're, we're worth. we're worth healthy love. But at the same time, so is someone else. And even if you found someone that is unfortunately as toxic as you, maybe you really are meant to be together. There's no reason for the judgment, especially if someone who has mental health if you have mental health, too, you'll you'll be able to understand that person. They'll be under, able to understand you. You'll relate in a way that will be mind-blowing. It's almost like power couple, but at the same time, yeah, it's going to be a little toxic. But, man, if you can love and understand and not leave. There is a song I'm going to add to this. It is called Sia. Uh, it's from Sia, and it's called... I won't... It's called, like, okay, type in thaw out, okay? You're gonna, like, she's thawing out the cold. She won't push the person away. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know, like, how to do stuff on YouTube to share this song with y'all. Um, <laughs> but I heard it today, and it says, I'm not going to push you away. You're thawing out my heart from being cold and pushing people away. Like, you'll know. You'll know from what I just said. That's enough, okay? Um, I don't know. Maybe some of us have been closed off and alone for a long time because we don't want re-abused. We will find love this time, but... Remember, no one is perfect. And if, and if you're, you know, if you follow God, I want you to just remember, God is spirit, Okay? I'm not preaching to you about anything else. Okay, God is spirit. God is not even human. So please believe, okay, if you don't. And if you don't, okay, don't. But God is spirit and... I, I don't I don't know. Maybe I just... It just... I... I don't know. Just, just forget it. It's just over my head now. Um. Sounds like an owl hooting, but I don't think it's an owl. I think it's the tricksters. They're tricking my retro retrograde got me to freaking literally not be able to say like, okay, if you don't believe in, in God or whatever. Okay. I just want you to understand that God's spirit. I'm not like preaching to you to believe in something, but 
messages are real. What do, what do you think I say when I say I want my answers on my tarot? I say spirit and guidance. Hello? I'm asking God for guidance, guys. Or I'm asking the universe or source or mother nature. There are so many things you can call it. So many things you can call it. Okay? You gotta believe, though. Souls do not meet for no reason. It's either a lesson or a blessing. And I promise you that is the realist. That is the realist. Karmics are our lesson. They're abusive. They're toxic. They're absolutely the hardest thing you can ever get rid of. But at the same time, you love and hate the most. More than anything. It's the most powerful connection on the planet. But it's a lesson. It's not something you should keep unless you are trapped forever or you cannot escape abuse. Um, soulmates though, whew, yes man. And twin flames, they will help you with growth and learning if you can put up with each other because that's the, the relationship that makes each other have growth and positive communication and learning how to heal from your past trauma. That's, that's a work in progress. Lots of people don't want to do twin flames. They don't want to work that hard. They're lazy. I'm not going to lie. Soulmates, though, are just, like I said, oh, I don't even want to get upset again because I want to feel safe so badly. And if I, I'm okay, though. Like, if I don't find it in this lifetime, I'm still a lovely person. I learned a lot through the abuse, through the mental health. I learned how to do tarot. I don't regret nothing in my life. I just, I worry about, you know, will I push someone away all the time? Or will I, you know, maybe get someone that stays. And I believe that it's time. I won't push this person away or the next person. You know what I'm saying? Like the person that's meant to be. Or the people that are meant to be in our lives. Platonic, non-platonic, sexual, non, non-physical. non Like, how, however it works out for you. Um, beautiful souls. Recognized and love and accept and understand and feel comfortable and loved and safe with other beautiful souls. It is an undeniable connection and it is so beautiful. It's rare and it's amazing to find. I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> I think, end it here. Um, I gave some of my advice. I don't even know what the other advice I had was. Forget it now. If I said it at the beginning, I said it at the beginning. Oh, trust in the universe, man. And like I said, retrograde. Oh, well, yeah, we were talking about retrograde and like soulmates, okay? Retrograde is going to try to bring that past back. Don't you dare if that door was supposed to be locked and closed, okay? Understand, though. No, don't judge. People can change. But how far did that person go to hurt you or harm you? Would they let you drown? Would they save you? Would they stab you in the back with five more knives? Would they have your back behind a closed door when someone else is talking bad about you or plotting against you or running smear campaigns on your name? Do they try to make your energy calm around them or do they try to scare it and have control over it and have a God complex? That's a narcissist. And a soulmate is the person that's going to make you feel loved always. Always. They will also put up the fight and the chase for you. They will not. They will literally fight and be like, no. We're going to weather the fucking storm. You're not pushing me away. Like, it's fucking real. Soulmates don't just try to quit if they truly do love you. But at the same time, I'm, I'm, I mean, it's confusing to figure out if it's a karmic or not. If it starts to be super controlling and abusive, it's a karmic. Get the fuck out before you get stuck. Unless, unless you both are toxic and you both have trauma and you both understand each other. But at the same time, that can be... A recipe for disaster. It depends on what you can handle. What can you put up with? What do you feel like you deserve? What do you feel like you want? Like, what do you want? It's up to what I want you to answer this one. This is a big one. The universe wants you to stop caring about what other people think and ask yourself, what do you want? 
Don't care about what that person thinks, who's this, who that person's going to judge you, or what they're going to say about you. What the fuck do you want? We don't have long to live. If you want a toxic person, you better pick that fucker and marry him now or her. If you want a good person, go for what you want right now. We are not getting younger. We're no younger than we are right now. Now we're a little bit older. And now we're a little bit older. Time's ticking. I know we try to be independent as earth signs and want to do it alone, but eventually health is coming. That health is coming. You're not going to stop it. And you're not going to be able to do things alone forever, like medically. You can try. I mean, if you're a billionaire and you can pay for Ubers your whole life and you can pay for people to fill in the spot of a partner because that's what we're on this planet to do is to love, you will be literally going to colonoscopies and you will have to pay like either Ubers or friends if you hopefully have some friends to, to do this stuff for you because you don't get to do like the procedures after you're 40 years old alone. You have to have someone on them papers when you're in the middle of like biopsies and things. So you like, really, I'm telling you, we need people. We can be independent. That's fine. But if there are some people fighting to love you and they're good people, let them in Capricorns. And I want you to also remember this. Yes, there's a thing as firm boundaries, but do not ever tell a person how much they are supposed to spend or give if they love someone. If they feel like, okay, they're working hard enough or they have the income to take care of somebody and the only thing that they want from that person is love, not any financial stability, leave them the fuck alone and let them love that person. That is literally what I've been told. Like, I can't have somebody unless they have a license or a job or money And I love taking care of people. I don't want someone for their money. If I can provide, I'm going to provide for us. I need you to love me and help me with my trauma. Tell me this is ice cold freaking shit happening, coming down some hail. It sounds like ice. It's ice, all right. The way it is hit. Yeah, it's sliding down the window like ice. Really? It's bouncing. It's super tiny, but still shitty. Anyway, okay, I said everything I needed to say, guys. I'm, like, fogging up my windows in my car. I'm not kidding. (laughs) I send you guys my love. Please hit like and subscribe. I always give some advice about, like, mental health or trauma because I have a shit ton of it. I'm going through grief, too. Lots of grief. Like, uh, big grief. Grief of, like, I'll say the absence and loss of my son going on two and a half years. Okay. Um, I don't want you to think, um, anything too far. Okay. And I'm not going to say anything farther than that. Cause my personal life should never be on, uh, on terror like that. I'll share my mental health to help everybody else out, but that's it. That's as far as it'll go. But like, um, as far else as like what's going on in my life, You know, I had like a natural disaster happen to my home of 16 years. So try to be patient with other people. Remember, everybody's going through something really, really bad. It's hard to just wake up and not deal with your PTSD or your trauma or or the puking and the mental health that comes along with all of it or the crying or the headaches or the gut and digestive fucking cramps that kick your ass because you're grieving or you're healing or however you want to call it. Don't judge people. Love people. Love is the only way we're going to save this flipping place. Each other and this planet. I'm not kidding. I don't want to talk about the pandemic, but that's made everybody just so unsocial. And it's good for empaths because we can't really, we don't want to absorb people's energy. Um, We're highly sensitive, but it's made the world a lot less loving and trusting so is social media but anyway still love it I need social media I need to upload tarot (laughs) peace and love everybody and we had lots of messages I'd say on just this without any cards 2444 2444 yeah okay alright peace and love bye (laughs)